everyone. Um, today we are going to do our December wrap up and our January. Uh, currently reading. Yeah, currently reading. Kind of like our read. spillover from from December because we both didn't do the greatest in December. No, we didn't. <laughs> Too many distractions. Yeah, I I read I read two books, a whole. A whole two. I read three or four. I've only got three here. Yeah. So the first one that I read was Claudine Married. I think Colette is going to be one of my like new favorite female writers. Uh, I have I'm having to kind of hold back just reading everything yeah. so that I get some other stuff read first. So yeah, I loved it. I'm very curious. I loved it so much. The second one I finished, finally, I've been, this one's been appearing in multiple videos for months, uh, is A Spy in the House of Love, and I finally finished it, and it was alright. I think I prefer her journals, hmm. um, but it's, it's kind of light, I mean, it's, it's kind of fun, it's a little bit sexy, yeah, it was, it was alright. I enjoy. I, I I enjoyed it. I wouldn't say like I wouldn't go to someone. Oh, make sure you like you have to read this. It's Not just, a must read. No, it's like if you want a little kind of. It's a light read. L light erotic read. If you you know if you are like maybe I'll try Fifty Shades of Grey. Yeah. Just don't do that and yeah. read all of her erotica instead. If like you're that's, so inclined. Yeah, like yeah. just don't read Fifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> read this or any of the other erotic writers yeah. that are before now. <laughs> That's a fair recommendation. I don't actually know how many books I read, but I've got three here. I'm still reading poetry. This time it's Jujuri by Arun Kalatkar. And I actually enjoyed this a lot. There's one page I want to call attention to. The text just goes totally askew. Oh, that's so cool. And there it is. I love that. It's quite remarkable and that sort of captures the spirit of this collection for me. I rather liked it. <laughs> the second book is, oh. it's a poet. Yes, P.K. Page, she's a Canadian poet, but this is prose. It was quite a quick read, quite a light read. I'm reading it next. It's is already it, it's, on my to-be-read. It's actually only 50 pages, so it's not quite a novella. But it's too long to be a short story. It's quite a unique text. She's a, she's a good sense of humor and a, a great imagination. I'm, I'm very curious to read her poems now. And you said you're going to read it. Yeah, it's, my, it's going on my to be read. Fantastic. <laughs> the last thing that I read, and I've been reading this for a long time, it is it's the autobiography of Alice B. Toklas by Gertrude Stein, and it's part of the Selected Writings of Gertrude Stein. Now I just have to get through the rest of the Selected Writings, which won't be difficult because I, I very much enjoy her writing. And that's it. Now on to our kind of currently, currently reading, kind of bleed over from December, which I was hoping for none, <laughs> but you know, I'm the worst. After Colette, I had to read Kathy Acker. Oh yeah. Because William S. Burroughs, who you also know that oh, we love. have quite a soft spot for, oh, yeah. um, states, Acker is a postmodern Colette with echoes of Cleland's Fanny Hill. So I had to. Like I, 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 was, I didn't even do this on purpose. I had been watching a documentary called The Punk Singer oh. about um, Kathleen Hanna and the Riot Girl movement and she'd said that like she'd taken her early inspiration from Kathy Acker. Wow. And I was like, that's super interesting. I'm gonna, like, I knew Kathy Acker was awesome. Like, I, I know she's amazing, but I just, it's always like, she's a bit challenging, so I mm. need a reason to kind of get to her. Um, so I like just decided to pull out what I had and I saw the postmodern Colette thing and I was like, I gotta read these like set back to back. I have mm. to. So I'm reading Kathy Acker, Great Expectations. And I'm really, it's good. It's so good. I'm really <laughs> excited about it. Uh, the second thing that I'm reading is, this is my Christmas read that I only got 20 pages into. Oh. But it's really good. It I just, is. I got, I, I don't know. It's one of my favorite novels, actually. Uh, or novellas. Yeah, I'm, I'm really excited about it. Uh, Arthur Schnitzler, uh, Dream Story. Uh, and I love 
the film Eyed Wide Shut, which is it's was based, based off it. of it. Yeah. And so I like I'm like, I don't like it. Look at this cover. It <laughs> looks awesome. That's Klimt. Um, I also started the Hunger Games oh, yeah. series this Christmas. That's right. Because my stepfather, in an attempt to help support my book unhauling endeavor, got me a e-reader. So the first things that I read I thought should be contemporary and mm. should be like something new. And Ariel Bissett actually was like, I really, I think you should try reading the Hunger Games. So yeah. I was like, okay, you're lovely. I will. Um, and so I am done the first book, and I'm, I'm about halfway through the second book, uh, so that I will continue reading that. Hopefully I'll be done by the end of January, and I, I may do a video on my own about my thoughts oh, about yeah. the Hunger Games. I don't know, it depends how much demand there is. If you want to hear my thoughts on the Hunger Games, give me, give me your feedback. Some encouragement. Yes. To end, I've still got these old guys with me. Still. They're just... Trudging along. I, I am so much further in Elizabeth Smart though. The reason this is taking so long is because every single line is incredible. And I read it and I write it down and then I reflect on it. Then I'm like, oh, that's... and then by the time I know I'm done just reflecting on like a paragraph, it's time I have to go do something. She's that kind of writer. So I'm just, I mean, I'm a lot further than I was. I am 63 pages now, as opposed to 20. Mm. Oh, and it's so good. It is. Um, this I'm slogging through because it's men, writing men. That's and right. then I'm reading this after, so. So Coming these up. old guys, still going. Back in That's the pile. <laughs> I'm currently reading The Beautiful Room is Empty by Edmund White and I'm rather enjoying it. It's semi-autobiographical, it's uh, coming of age, but not like very young. I can't read, I couldn't read the first book. It's part of a series and the first book is a boy's own story and I don't really want to read about a boyhood. I couldn't watch the film Boyhood. <laughs> um, well, you don't know that yet. It just doesn't interest me, but he, here he's in his early 20s and he's, uh, it's the 60s and the late 50s, so it's Sounds a very awesome. interesting period and he's, he's a homosexual and he's facing a lot of repression in that, uh, in that very oppressive environment. So there's a lot going on, a lot that I find interesting. It's very interesting. The next book is Dostoevsky's Notes from the Underground and I'm very near finishing this. It's, wow. I'm very impressed. It's taken me this long to read it. I've been uh, meaning to read Dostoevsky for a long time. And I must say that it's everything I hoped it would be. I'm, I'm probably going to add that to my to be read. You should. <laughs> it's very good. And the last book that I'm currently reading, another collection of poetry, one I just picked up on a whim, and that's Joe Shepcutt's Of, Mu of Mutability. And uh, she's good. She's very good. I think I'll pick up another collection of hers once I'm finished with this one. That's all. So that's it. That's our December wrap up, kind of January reading so far. Yes. Uh, we've been a little behind on the videos. We have. Don't know what else is going to come this month. If you want to. You want to see any reviews of specific book? Like, you oh, know, yeah. you saw that we read it and we haven't reviewed it and you're like, what? We want to hear a review. We want to hear your thoughts. Let us know because any guidance, we're often kind of like, well, we, there's so many things. And so, we're scrambling, so uh, send us your requests. Yes, because I think the next should be a review. It's good <laughs> I idea. think so. Yeah, yeah, I think so. All right, bye. Bye. <laughs>